Hey everybody, late night for day 39 of the vlog. Um, today's homecoming football game, uh, as well as all the other festivities. And so as the senior class advisor, now four years into this um, with this class, uh, we have a lot of things to do. Um, I actually took work off today to write letters of rec, but we had um, our assembly today. We had uh, float decoration, the homecoming parade, uh, the game, and then now we're here until uh, probably another hour at 11.30 p.m. of getting in everything set up for the dance tomorrow. And uh, these students work so hard, these leadership kids. Um, you know, some of them are just such amazing young men and women that have work ethics that <laughs> would put a lot of adults to shame. And so proud of all the of these young kids putting in this work. Um, to pull off homecoming and make memorable experiences for everybody. Um, so yeah, I'm tired, but today I had the opportunity to get interviewed. Um, somebody was writing an article about kind of the increasing social justice movement in education today, and they asked a question that I've been sitting with um, for the last few hours, and it was, what if after all of the work that we do social justice uh, in education, what if after everything you lose, right? Like the work does not get accomplished. In fact, it gets the opposite, right? Like it gets shut down. It gets um, pushed back against to a point that it no longer exists. Teachers that are doing the work get pushed out. Uh, students are silenced. Like what, what do you do if that happens, if we, if we get to that point? Um, and in the immediate moment, I just responded, like, you just got to keep going, right? You just keep working, uh, keep making a difference. Um, go underground if needed, right? Like, have secret meetings in secret places of the school with colleagues and uh, speak in whispered tones if you have to, but never stop fighting. And I still believe that. I still believe what I, um, what I said there. But I guess what has been sitting with me is the fact that I've never thought about that. I never thought that this movement won't win. Um, you know, Dr. King said that the arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends towards justice, which is the basis of our social justice activism club here, Bending the Arc. Um, I believe, and the students believe, that you have to be an active agent to bend the arc towards justice, that it's not going to bend on its own. In fact, I think as a historian, sometimes it feels like the uh, universe is trying to bend the arc away from justice. Um, so it's going to take active agents to be able to move that arc towards justice, uh, more towards it. And the more resistance we get to that, the stronger we will become. Uh, I, I have no doubt in my mind that this is a just movement to be looking at racial equity and racial justice in schools, to be protecting our undocumented students, to be supporting our LGBTQ students and our trans students. Um, I fully believe that this is the right thing to do. And so based on that belief, um, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that this work will overcome and that we will push forward and all my students can feel, can know that I'm committed uh, to do this work regardless if we face opposition because we're going to. Uh, we already have. We're going to face more and it's going to keep coming but ultimately we will be more successful we will overcome we will reach a more just world for our students so yeah profound like profound question um to just think about like wh what happens if you fail and none of the things that you're doing pans out and i don't know i guess i'm, I'm not going to find out because i want to keep fighting uh, so that we don't fail. So anyway, uh, very tired. Um, I think I'm going to try to catch up on my vlog, so I'll do an extra one tomorrow. Uh, so we'll see you guys then. Peace.